How's it going, Great Nation? Chris Thomas here. Hope you're having a great day kind of day. And I'm sure you might be wondering, well, what has been happening with this podcast? What is going on? It seems like nothing is happening. And a lot of things have transpired, I'm sure, for all of you as well. It has been a very tough time in American history, uh, trying to support friends and family during this time has taken a lot of time away, so there hasn't been much chance to do podcasts. And then also, to be honest, I mean, with everything that has happened, uh, the money has gone away. And before the podcast was making money, now it isn't. Oh, so that's all it is to you. It's really an avenue to make money. It's just kind of a shove out. Good times. It's not a matter of selling out. It's just, you know, you want to be rewarded in some way for the hard work put in. Well, I haven't I, I seen money from being on here. That's because you're a guest. Oh, so I, I don't I don't get to reap the riches. Well, I mean, there were no riches. I mean, essentially, the Second Great Depression happened, and all the money went away. All the podcast money went away. Oh, well, we are you gonna cry about it tomorrow? Well, all I'm saying is that. Uh, we had to take a hiatus to help friends and family. And then also, it really wasn't a time where podcasts were making money. Most podcasts. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. There were some making money. And that's why you're back. Dale Pine, It's uh, that, that's kind of a cheap shot. Well, I, you know... I heard that when you heard how much Joe Rogan was making on Spotify, that you took all your clothes off and ran screaming down the street and police had to apprehend you. No, that's not true. I was surprised by how much money he was making. Or is going to be making to be exclusive to Spotify. And Joe Rogan and the Joe Rogan Experience starting January 2021, I believe, is going to be exclusive to Spotify. You can only listen to the show on Spotify after that point. So it's not going to be on Apple Podcasts, New Editions. New installments of the Joe Rogan Experience. New installments won't be on Deezer and all the other great podcast platforms. It's very unfortunate. To those people who love using those platforms, it sort of forces people to use Spotify. Oh, well, I mean, if they're Joe Rogan fans, they're going to go to uh, Spotify. Well, not everyone will. People are very loyal to brands. And that's why the news that Joe is not going to put his full episodes on YouTube, but apparently Spotify is creating a video platform for Joe and other podcasters it is a, a bit surprising. What's surprising about it? Well, because people are very loyal to YouTube. A very strong segment of YouTube's audience only consumes content on YouTube. And, I mean, I see that in my own numbers, is that people watch clips from Grady Nation on YouTube, but don't really download the episodes elsewhere. Well, keep crying about it. Jeez, jeez. Well, it's not a matter of crying. It's just that it demonstrates that people are loyal to certain brands. And if Joe thinks that everyone who listens to a show on YouTube is going to go to the Spotify video platform, I mean, 
it's just wishful thinking on his part. But hey, if someone offers you a hundred million dollars to uh, pretty much take all your content and make it exclusive to that service, I mean, I'm sure sure I would be tempted. You, you you'd be more than tempted. You would be bending over with your cheeks spread, saying. Give it hard. Give it deep. Let me keep all that cash. Nice, nice rhyme or attempt at rhyme. Well, I, I, I got kind of lost, to be honest, because I just think your jealousy is oozing out of you, oozing out. No, I'm, I'm not jealous of Joe. I mean, Joe, Joe is Joe. Not a good stand-up comic, not a good actor, not a very good UFC broadcaster, uh, not a good podcast host. But if people take to him for whatever reason, I've, I can't explain it, but people seem to take to him. And if he is perceived to be worth $100 million, he isn't. Uh, good luck to him. Good luck to Spotify. Uh, get lost. Wow, you are. You are one mean guy. It's not a matter of being mean. I mean, because, I mean, look at those two broads uh, who tried to pull one over on Barstool Sports. Oh, here we go. He, 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 you know, this guy, he pretends to be so sweet and nice. And that all the guests on Great Nation are the freaks. But he's the biggest freak of them all. Because he's jealous. I, I am not jealous of Sophia Franklin and Alexandra Cooper. Because, I mean, they're, they're not very good broadcasters either, like Joe. And, they're, I mean, if I were a woman, I would not want to look like either of those two and they're not very attractive I, I think that's why they have uh, appeal is that with women uh, they're kind of non-threatening uh, they're not particularly pretty wow I, I did this study well I mean that's certainly your point of view good times oh yeah I mean if they if they wanted to make a Dale Pine sandwich, I would be all up in that. Well, good for you, Dale, but I wouldn't. Uh, Sophia and Alexandra are not particularly attractive, and I think the females that listen to that podcast kind of relate to them because most women think that they are more attractive than they really are. Oh, gee, is, is this Michael Ficus talking? Well, I'm just saying, most women think that they are more attractive than they really are. And Sophia and Alexandra are no exception. And I think women can kind of relate to them because, you know, they can talk about all their escapades in terms of dating and uh, casual encounters and stuff like that. And, you know, more power to them. And then, you know, you get the incel demographic. Oh, so, 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 so people like you. No, not, not people like me. P guys who would like to be intimate with women feel that Sophia and Alexandra are attainable. And so they built up a pretty big audience and then they wanted to make even more money. And so they tried to pull the wool over Barstool Sports and try and get a better deal. And they, they couldn't outsmart Dave and now one of them is coming back with her tail between her legs. And the other, I guess, is maybe frozen out or maybe 
she'll have her own podcast on Barstool or somewhere else. But, I mean, it's a matter of two women who are making a lot of money because the machine of Barstool Sports helped get them big. You know, if I had that opportunity... Oh, she, are you saying you want to be a woman? You want, you want to host a podcast called uh, Finger Me Daddy? No, I mean, that's not the name of their podcast. Yeah, I, I, think, I think the podcast name is Lick Me Daddy. Lick Me Daddy Good. No, <laughs> that is not the name of the podcast. The name of the podcast is not uh, Lick Me Daddy, Lick Me Daddy Good. Um... Although I, I'm pretty sure the two of them might have that kind of experience. Oh, wow. All I'm saying is is that we have a situation where three people uh, might not appreciate how much money uh, they were making and trying to make a cash grab. And let's see ultimately how successful they get. Okay, that's all I'm saying. And... Let's let's try and get this podcast successful. Yeah, good luck with that. And we're going to be churning out new episodes as much as we can, given everything that's happened with the pandemic. We want to do right by our audience, the Great A Nation. Yeah, all five of them. And we're going to do good shows. And hopefully we'll be one of those podcasts making uh, big bucks, entertaining lots of people. And if you spread the word, f- people. Hey, oh, God, 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 gosh, you are, gosh, you are really bad at this. Yeah, he's very rusty. And thanks for the insults because it has been a while since I've done a podcast. But once I get back into the rhythm, I, I think we'll we'll be on the right track. Get, Get into the rhythm. You make it sound like it's uh, sex. Are you, are you sure you don't want to do the the F Me Daddy podcast? Yeah, yeah, the Finger Me Daddy podcast. No. All right, Grady Nation, that's all for now. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.